In just two days' time. Sorry, I was just... It's okay, me. it's okay. In just two days' time, Dermot and yeah, Mary, no. a whole bunch of new celebrities are going to be entering the camp, including our very own Josie Gibson. Uh, they're all going to be screaming, get me out of here, or are they? That's what I'm asking, are they? Uh, yeah, and as the celebs take on maybe the biggest opening challenge yet, Fern McCann and Helen Flanagan are here <laughs> with the latest and a little trip down memory lane. Good to have you both here. Welcome oh, back. Thanks for having us. Does it bring back memories when you hear that, that tune? Oh, absolutely. Like, literally, I, I had an amazing experience, if I'm you honest. You did, didn't you? I couldn't believe my luck that I was even on the show. It was a show that I've watched throughout my whole childhood and then I think I was a bit of a substitute. And then, like, two weeks, they were like, yep, you're going to Australia. So it was a fantastic experience. It was intense, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, it brings back great memories. But they are, wow, they are in for... Well, I'd say a treat, but it's going to be... They sort of lure you into false pretenses. <laughs> yeah. The champagne, the, the hotel, hotel before. And then, boom, a big old challenge and the highest one yet, apparently. Every When the, when the years come round and I'm a celeb comes round, do you guys look for, oh, who's in it? Let's have a little look and, you know, who's, or is it, like, yeah, something you did and you just... Yeah, it's, like, my friends were on it. So when Jacqueline was on it or Giovanni, then I would, like, then I would always yeah. watch it. But I, I had, like, not the best experience the first time round. I mean, I was terrified. The first time you were only really young, though, weren't you? How old were you? I was 22 the first time I did the show, and genuinely, like, this sounds really silly because obviously, um, I'm a celebrity, such a big show, but I hadn't really watched the show before I did it, and I was so shocked, like, the first time that I did the show because, um, I just I remember I did this horrendous height trial. I hate heights. <laughs> and then I went into this camp and I just couldn't stop crying. Was you in and, shock? Um, Do you think you were in shock? Everywhere. Yeah, I was just so shocked. <laughs> I, was, I was so shocked, honestly. But then the second time round, I was... Um, the second time round, I did it in South Africa. I absolutely loved it and like I really enjoyed it. And I knew what I was like myself. Isn't myself it lovely to get a second chance to actually mm. do it again? Yeah, it was and amazing. Go back. It was oh, amazing. I think I'd enjoy. Especially after you've had kids, because you go in the second time going, listen, I can, I can handle whatever you're yeah. talking about. <laughs> I've had a baby, I can fun. do this. So just to kind of like confirm the lineup, so we've got Josie, obviously our very own Josie, actress and singer Jamie Lynn Spears, that's Britney's sister, isn't it? Reality star Tam Thompson, uh, Fred Syriax, uh, YouTube and Della Rose. Uh, 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 Nigel Farage, mm. food critic Grace Dent, uh, Marvin Humes, EastEnders star Daniel Harold, and uh, Hollyoaks icon Nick Pickard. It's a good lineup, I think. Who's standing it's, out for you guys? It's an unbelievable lineup this year. Like massive personalities. Yes, everyone is speaking about Nigel Farage, but for me, I think. I think I'm really excited about Nella Rose. She is going to bring something really different. I was watching TikToks of her last night and she is she's really witty. She's very, very funny. Yeah. I think she's the youngest member of, of the campmates this year. And I think actually the young ones, such as Sam and Nella, I think they're going to be feeling nervous because, you, you know, the likes of Grace and Nigel, they're composed, they've got life experience, but huge personalities. At the end of the day, they're going to be tired, they're going to be hungry, and then that's when you can go in there and you think, do you know what, I'm going to be good, I'm just going to embrace it, but people start to get irritable. Um, when I'm... does that start to happen, Fern? In the beginning, two days in, three days? Well, if you've got someone like... You know, you you went for all the trials, and you, you, wasn't, you wasn't the best at I'd, the babes, I did, was basically, you? I did eight trials in a row, and I was... Terrible. Oh no! And I don't think the whole camp like ate for like over a week. <laughs> no, and that's it. You're always um, like, oh, yeah. how many stars did you get? And then it's like, mm. but um, so yeah. what makes a good campmate for both of you? What would you say, having been there, having lived through it, having been I think a camp? Someone that's really actually get, obviously gets the stars, but also helpful in camp and actually, you know, I just think of... I think you've got to be a people person. Yeah. Um, and everyone's equal in there. Talking about Nigel Farage, obviously, he's, um, he's a controversial character. But when you're in there, I, th I feel like, with my experience, you kind of forget about all of that and you're just very much equal, whether you're a reality star or a politician. Yeah. So true. You're all doing the same experience. Yeah. But I think you need someone who's charismatic, who's a team player, who's got the chat. Like, when I was in there, I was just saying, so, you got any kids? Like, if I was in there yeah. with Nigel, I'd be like... Just wanting to get to know him. That's it, because you've got to live with these people, right? Exactly. So as you saw that Matt Hancock last year, sort of if you sort of take it out of the context of my mistake, yeah. there's a lot of people who might be very annoyed with him, but they went in there, mm. you realise you've got to live with the person. Yeah. Let's have a little look at Nigel now. Take a look.
in the jungle, you're going to find the real me. Who knows? You might like me more, you might dislike me more, but you will at least find out. I'm not sure I'm the easiest person in the world to live with. I'm absolutely certain I'm not. There'll be arguments in there. There'll be disagreements in there. The best way to deal with conflict is to tackle it head on. Because if you don't do that, it's going to simmer. And that wouldn't be good. Oh, he's Yikes. got all the chat, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got, <laughs> got all, all the, the chat. chat. I think he's going to be slightly different to Matt Hancock because I think he's actually going to go in for... If, if there's going to be an argument erupt, I reckon he'll face it. Like he said, he's going to face it head on. And I actually don't think Nigel Farage really cares. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. the highest one, yeah. Because you've done that, haven't you? You haven't done this, have you? You've done first. I had, um, like, a high-wire challenge, but I was blindfolded, so I don't know what's worse, actually seeing it, the heights, or not at all. Um, <laughs> but I think, apparently, they walk out with this uh, pole position. They walk out, climb up a ladder, and then go again. Oh, I don't I, know I don't if know I could, if do, I could do it. No, I, I mean, I you are don't strapped think. up and you are... They do look into health and safety, but what's it like when you're actually out there, Helen? Like, I think, like, I, I'm terrified of heights. So, like, the first time I did it, I had a really bad height trial. But, yeah, I mean, I actually... I knew that the second time around they were going to give me a height trial, so I went to go ape about, like, 15 <laughs> times. <laughs> Literally, with, I, I was friends with all the instructors <laughs> and I just picked them to take me round. <laughs> Um, because I literally was just so terrified of heights. No, and I did that. I did, did it a, help? It massively did. I did a plank over a mountain and it was absolutely... And a ladder and it was terrifying. But I did my prep with my heights. Oh, so love that. <laughs> wow. Well, listen, Mark Jeffries is still in... Queen, still up, I think, in Queensland for us. Mark, you there? There he is. Yeah, I'm still there just about, yeah. Hi, so, Mark, Mark, you got to see all the campmates together yesterday. What's your take on the dynamic of the group so far? Well, no, we got to speak to them all. I think that's probably what they mean. Yeah, so so they haven't all come together, but we saw four of them together. You saw those pictures. That was a, a bit of a This Morning exclusive there, those four. That's for the pole position. So you saw them sort of, and they've already started to work together. So there, there were four of them there, um, Danielle, Fred, uh, Sam, and uh, Grace. And they they were all working together on, on this on this trial pole position. And so you can hear them shouting encouragement to each other. Aww. And even when, you know, some of them get a bit scared, Grace there was a bit, you know, struggling a bit, and Danielle also screamed out, and the others were shouting lots of encouragement. So you can already see it's very early on. They've only been together for a few hours, and they've already built up a bit of a bond, so that's that's really good to see. And I think <laughs> the girls would probably agree that's quite important in camp. You do yeah. need to kind of work together and support each other when you're doing these trials, because otherwise, you know, if you, if you lose the first one and don't get many stars, then it can it can get a bit down in that camp. Hey, Mark, you've really got your fingers on the, po the pulse. What's the situation about this snake breakout? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, well, we've heard there's oh, been loads of yeah. snakes. So that... Yes, there's been 15 snakes found. Sorry, I didn't know snake record. So there's been 15 snakes found in and around the camp. That's the most, um, the most ever for this time of year. It's just within the last few weeks they've taken them out. Um, some of them are highly venomous as well. So the campmates will get warned about that before they go into the main camp. Um, because obviously, if, if they see any, they need to stay well away or, or to warn someone to, so they can be removed. Um, yeah, so so they'll they'll all be entering the main camp. Uh, but it'll be tomorrow over here, Saturday, and that's quite an unusual thing as well because quite often when the show starts, they're right, split up into Mark. two different groups. We are so Thanks, so excited, honestly. We're gonna have to stop you there because we're running out of time. Thank you so Thanks, much, Mark. Mark.